Hi, my name is Esther. I am from the blog VictorianLaneFarms.com. Today, I am getting ready to go inside an antique store and a consignment store, and I thought it'd be fun to take you with me. So stay tuned. I am in the city of Kirkland, Washington. This area is very high end. There are homes worth millions of dollars. What's so neat about Kirkland is there are old houses and new houses mixed together. And the downtown area has a nostalgic look to it. And yet it is on the waterfront. And so here is a clip showing you the downtown area and the water here. That cow and that dog is their mascots for downtown Kirkland. They dress them up for Halloween and Christmas and different times, so that's kind of cute. So I thought I'd show you that. Those are iconic for Kirkland, Washington. The store I'm about ready to take you in is a high-end store. The prices in this store are reflecting what the items are actually worth. And I thought it'd be fun to take you to show you antiques that are worth a lot so that when you are thrifting or going to Etsy that when you're holding an antique in your hand you can really know its worth and I thought that would be fun to show you these antiques. The architecture of this historic brick building is beautiful. I love the old brick. I'm starting on one side of the store and doing a loop around. And the first thing I came across is this chair. It is $98. And I don't even know what this tool is. I tried looking it up on Etsy to see what it is. If you know, I would love for you to comment below. Here is an antique wood juicer. It is $128. This copper pitcher is so unique. I love that lion on there and that white and blue handle. It is $48. As I've shared in other videos, I love white and blue iron stone. And here is a really beautiful platter. I just love the delicate flowers on the edge. It's pretty heavy. It's $48, which is not too bad. It is so pretty. And down below here, these ones are a little heavy. I'm not gonna pull any of those out. But I just love that design. And what I love about this store is they have a lot of silverware. This one is an antique pearl knife for $28. I'm intrigued with these number plaques. I'm curious what they were used for. What's neat about these, they are very unique. Buying one or two to use for the holidays, to serve pickles like this little fork.
This store has scented diffusers, candles, and natural soap. I couldn't believe when I came across these little bowls. The other day I went to Goodwill and I saw two bigger bowls that had that same design. These ones are $38 each. I think they're so cute. Are you a fan of cutting boards? A good one is really hard to find. I like this one. It's nice and small. This one is $78. These forks look like they are copper tipped with a green handle. I love how whimsical it is. They go well with this little gold fork. This is my favorite area in the whole store. I could spend so much time here looking through everything. Those are real ironstone pitchers. I can't wait to get my hands on one of those. I did end up purchasing one of these iron stone pitchers and I got to touch quite a few of them. They are so thick, so different from ones I've found at thrift stores. And I'm excited to show you which one I bought when I show you my living room makeover. So make sure to come on back. This is an antique colander. I wonder what it's worth. It's $38. That's really good to know. I've always wanted one of these copper pans, especially to melt some butter really quick. I love that handle. It's $148. I'm going to keep my eye out for one of those. Here's another one. It's $168. I didn't know they were so expensive. Goodness. I've discovered some Victorian antiques lately that I am in love with. And this is one of those. It is a clock and candelabra set. In the olden days, the Victorians put these on their fireplace mantle. Let me check out the details. The ones I have been eyeing 
are called Hollywood Regency. So they're a little more reasonable than these. These are very, very expensive. And they have a French look. But I mean, is this beautiful or what? The ones I've been eyeing are made out of brass. And I think these ones are too. But I wanted to show you the details up close. I think that's why I like these so much. This one you can see a little better in the light. What do you guys think? I found this wooden box and inside are some treasures that I have been wanting. I think this is a brass frame. I mean, isn't that really beautiful? I love the ornate details. It is so Victorian. They are actually really heavy. I love this too. I don't know if this one is meant for mugs like the ones that they sell on Amazon. But that one is really neat. It has that vintage look. Do you guys remember those medicine bottles? Yes, that is really what those are worth. It makes you want to go grab some and sell them on an eBay or something. This stackable table set is so unique. Wow. I didn't know they were worth that much. Check out that huge green bottle. I came across these. These are actually made out of marble. Real marble. I never knew they had lamps like this. Wow. I'm curious what is inside of all those boxes. I wonder if it's silver flatware. And here is something neat. This is a measuring tape. Great for putting in your purse. That's a great idea. And if you guys have been following me very long, you know I love baskets. And this is really a beautiful one. If you are into Crocs, these ones are amazing. This one is $328. But check those out. I love those. This is such a cute little bowl and with a lid. And I am noticing throughout the store these cute little dogs. I noticed this frame up here on the wall. It is actually made out of wood. I just love the ornate details on the edges. That is so pretty. And these necklaces, they have like real flowers inside. 
I thought those were neat. And now I am headed next door to a consignment shop. In here they have more modern furniture and home decor, but I'm gonna look for some vintage inspired things here that catch my eye. These are really cute black iron dogs. The tag's upside down, it's $24 each. This hurricane candle holder is $42. I am on a search for a chair like this, but I want one with an ottoman for my living room makeover. And yes, I'm going to have another painting project. I love this corner. This has pillowcases, tablecloths, um, Pottery Barn pillows. And I'm loving this one. This one is so cozy. I mean, the prices are pretty affordable. And I love that they have patterns. This is where I got some of my Christmas home decor. I mean, check out that velour fabric. It's so pretty. And here are some tablecloths, but I'm eyeing this one. It's French inspired. It's really pretty. This is kind of neat. They had some fabric that match. This one's paisley and the other one is striped, but they're similar in color. This would be great to cover some pillows. That's a great find. Oh my goodness. Was that a fun shopping trip? I love that place. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.